Hello, and my name is Pete Rushmer, and I'm your host today of A Half Dozen Things podcast. A Half Dozen Things is a podcast for business owners just like you. Whether you're an underdog hungry for success, or you're already smashing it, but want to continue to level up, we are here each week for you to get insight and learning from the very best in the business. No fluff, no BS, and no self-proclaimed gurus talking about how easy business or life is. Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm talking about six fundamental leadership skills for managers. It's been an interesting time over the past uh, month or so because literally just this week our team have finished delivering a transport manager or operator CPC course in road haulage which is training our next batch of transport managers who are going to go off into their businesses and start running their transport operations. Interestingly, in the next sort of few weeks, we're going to be embarking on a full range of uh, ILM, Institute of Leadership and Management, training courses, uh, the Level 3 Award in Leadership and Management. And it just got me thinking around how, how we train people and how we ensure that leaders and managers have the fundamental skills they need to be able to deliver uh, a fantastic, deliver in a, really well in their role and help them perform. So I was having a think about and wrote an article just recently, uh, which is going to be published very soon. And I thought I'd take the learnings from that and create this video for people who would prefer to watch rather than uh, read. So uh, the first key area uh, for a fundamental skill for leaders is about effective communication. Now, that's easier said than done. It's not an easy job effectively communicating with people, but it must be done. They need to open practice, open and honest and transparent communication skills with their team. And that involves listening well, it involves communicating at every level within the organization, right through from all the different roles uh, that may be present in that organization. And taking an approach where feedback is op an opportunity to develop, to be able to be embrace any feedback, embrace communication from other team members, and be able to foster a positive and collaborative work environment through really good quality, effective communication skills. Now that in itself um, is would be a fantastic training course. We do a lot of uh, communication skills training courses for team members at all levels, but it's a fundamental one that leaders must have a really, really effective communication and and and, and ability to be able to listen and and take action without without judgment. So the second, the second key skill is around decision making. So it's absolutely vital for managers to be able to make effective decisions and have strong skills around effective decision making. They need to be able to take responsibility for those decisions that they do make and be decisive, taking responsibility and making sure they learn from those successes and failures. So taking the decision is one thing, but learning the outcome of that and being able to adjust and adapt and help see where where there might have been a failing from that decision, for example, where the opportunities are to sort of move forward. So decision making is about assessing risk. Sometimes there are always imperfect decisions. There's no quite right or wrong answer. You know, at the moment, I have a range of decisions that I need to make, and I'll often look at them and go, there isn't one perfect solution here. So how do I assess the risk of both of these options and actually just commit to, to making the decision? And I think it's important to make sure that decision making is well informed. So that forms part of the communication process as well. And, and realizing that often that there are imperfect decisions to be made, but actually to make a decision stand by it, having taken in and weighed up and assessed the risks of all the options and the potential outcomes of those options as well. And that requires some forward planning and, uh, and, and certainly some hard understanding and thinking about the impact that that decision may have certainly on the business and on the people around them. So uh, that's that's the fundamental key skill number two. The third that I find new managers struggle with absolutely the most is delegation. So often managers and leaders will be uh, promoted into a, a leadership or management type role and they have to they have to start to change the way they see their perspective on how work is done because ultimately there's new managers have this tendency to often just overload themselves and overburden themselves and because they're often very good at the role they do from a technical perspective there's this there, there's this thought around well it's just easier to get it done myself and particularly in the in the fleet organizations that we work with what we often see is this old ethos of i wouldn't ask anyone to do anything i can't do myself and 
also ultimately that if you want a job doing properly you've got to do it yourself so they're sort of two things that can sometimes cause a bit of a challenge because what happens is, is there's huge amounts of work and setting expectations and delegating is the only way to be able to achieve positive outcomes for everybody and to keep everyone busy and working to their full potential because an effective leader and manager will ensure that their team members are coming on a journey with them and they're helping develop those and the only way to do that is to effectively delegate work and allow people to do that but to effectively delegate is one to recognize the work that needs to be delegated so that's the key bit key first part of it hi it's pete from flagship partners we're proud to sponsor a half dozen things podcast flagship partners help their clients become safer greener and greater through a range of consultancy and training services we offer audits through to risk assessments contracts through to support with managing your culture all the way from mandatory training through to management training as well so if you need any support please do get in touch with flagship partners today then also learning the right team members to, who will be able to deliver that and being able to set expectations and help manage the process, giving clear instructions, setting expectations and empowering people to be able to make decisions where they need to, to effectively carry out the task given. And that enables development of the team. So at a high level, uh, delegation is, is the third fundamental skill that I came up with of the, of the six that I was looking at. The second is around adaptability and flexibility. Oh, sorry, the fourth even is around adaptability and flexibility. I think adaptability is really, really important. Most organizations and businesses are super dynamic um, and people need to be adaptable to change. This flexibility is massively important for managers and leaders. And it's important to be able to incorporate new ideas, think about the, the benefits that new ideas may have and not be too too regimented in the way that we hold on to our own ideals and our own perspectives of the world and take into account the way other people see things. And adaptability leads to this emotional intelligence that's really needed, which is the fifth area that I'm going to speak about in a moment. But this adaptability to a strategy, to notice when things aren't going quite the right way and not just to push through, but be able to just adjust the path and find the right way to, to, to move forward and to, and to consider those things. So um, I'm hoping, hoping this is useful. Uh, this is the fourth one then, so adaptability. Next up is the fifth one, which is around empathy. And empathy is closely linked to emotional intelligence. Now, empathy is absolutely vital for a leader to be able to, and, and empathy is very different. When, when I train this in mental health and in communication skills training, empathy is very different to what some people believe is, is sympathy. Empathy is about being able to really understand someone else's perspective. Because ultimately, we've all got our own map of the world and we've all got our own expectations of what reality is and our ability to be able to work and, and cope in the environment around us and in the workplace. And that's really, really important that when we speak to our team members, when we deal with customers, clients, um, and when we deal with our colleagues, that we, we really put ourselves in their shoes and we have some empathy, which shows and demonstrates real, real leadership and the ability to properly support people personally and professionally in their roles. I think it's I think it's really, really probably of all of the six skills, one of the most fundamental is having having that empathy with people. And the final one, the sixth one that I suggested was around conflict resolution. Now, conflicts and expectations from different people and where those don't quite align is commonplace in most workplaces. And what tends to happen when there's a conflict is they just get swept under the carpet. Many of our, many of our clients that we work with um, and many of the organisations I've worked with over time really do allow sometimes to uh, things to just fester or or to, to be swept under the carpet and oftentimes having an effective skill at being able to resolve conflict being able to be diplomatic and fair and listen to all perspectives and be able to implement strategies and and to be able to overcome those conflicts to be able to open communication channels and and be able to um, effectively maintain a healthy work environment and affect that culture, which is what's so important because culture can be ne negatively impacted by conflict. So a really, really important skill set is being able to confront conflict and see what's really happening and being able to properly influence, I suppose off the back of that, there's this, this seventh one around influence uh, to help improve a situation and move it forward. So they're my six key fundamentals. So just to run back over them, you've got effective communications one, the second is decision making, the third is delegation, fourth is adaptability, fifth is empathy, 
and the sixth is conflict resolution and maybe a seventh in there around influence as well what's your top tip or top skill for a leader or manager that maybe i've missed um i'll be interested to hear your thoughts on those um, but otherwise, those are the key skills that I think you should, we should be nurturing in our leaders and certainly through lead, leadership development and training and those kinds of things, we're able to help nurture one to one coaching, mentoring. We're able to nurture those skills which help enable a fantastic culture in our businesses and to be able to help nurture leaders to be able to do a better job longer term. Hopefully that's been interesting for you. If you've got any feedback, if you've got any suggestions, please do put those forward. What's the seventh thing for you? What would be what would be the extra fundamental skill for you? Really interested to take the chat into the comments. And uh, thank you very much for listening and I'll see you again soon. If you're interested in any of the leadership development or manager type courses that we're offering at Flagship Partners, please do drop an email to hello at flagshippartners.co.uk or have a look at our website, www.flagshippartners.co.uk uk put my teeth back in now thank you bye bye i really hope you loved today's episode and if you did please make sure you subscribe and listen out for future episodes too please do share it across your social media channels we hope to reach more and help more people if you want to find out more about me my name's pete rushmer you'll find me across any social media channel and my business flagship partners and we're your partners in success across your business thank you see you again soon